Hi, I'm Parish President VJ St. Pierre, and this is the Parish Goals Update on Infrastructure. What we're doing is collecting information on the, pertaining to the drainage network of St. Charles Parish. Uh, specifically, we're collecting information using high-grade GPS units on the um, catch basins, manholes, ditches, and pipes. And it's actually going to allow us to look at the entire configuration and see, identify potential areas of that, are, that are problematic based on either the, the lack of or the existing drainage infrastructure. This is the first time um, that we're collecting information pertaining to the drainage network. Um, the parish doesn't have any existing uh, drainage information in a digital format. Uh, what they've been using is the traditional uh, legal description or paper map. And this is really going to allow us to look to add another dimension in how we analyze the configuration of the drainage network by having a digital, digital format where we can overlay and analyze how it resp uh, relates to other uh, features like buildings, the elevation of roads, levees. I've been using the GPS equipment for probably 12 years now. Uh, my background's in geography. By us doing it in-house, it's actually saving the parish a lot of money versus hiring a contractor to do this. You know, we can buy a, a unit that costs us, you know, maybe $10,000 and hire temporary help to do this. And then in, employing a contractor is going to charge you upwards of $150, $200 an hour. Working in this area right now, specifically because of the history of flooding, and um, we're going, we're, we're going basically by. Uh, like a drainage shed, if you want to call it. We're looking at specific areas, targeting like pump stations, and, a, and kind of ca capturing that area, one area at a time. So we started at near Airline Highway off of Ormond Boulevard, and we moved on this side of the railroad track on the east side of Ormond Boulevard. Now we're moving this way and looking at the Shack Snyder Pumping Station District. So now we're going to move further, I, I believe, to capture this area towards uh, Norco and maybe go there where the, the actual drainage infrastructure is much older than in areas like this or on the other side of the Highway 90, for example. The process involves getting out here, um, we, we kind of scout an area out. We go and look at, before we even get out with the GPS units, we go out and uh, look at where the water, uh, where the manholes, where the catch basins are, and to try to identify what direction the water, the flow is going. So we collect that information first and we come back with the GPS unit and collect information in that sequence, in that order, so we can say it's, this is the starting of a, a line and this is the ending of a line. So it flows out to this canal here, or this, uh, this other pipe that leads to this canal. You know, we've, we've taken a look at the data already and you know, we've identified just small areas where there could be problems. I'm not a, usually engineers look at this here and, uh, and create the hydraulic models of uh, direction of flow and that's that's the most important part of what we're capturing right now. We're going to be able to identify exactly where the water goes. So we know the, the depth of a manhole, the diameter of a pipe, and exactly where the catch basins are, where the water feeds into that system. So we can say with a certain degree of confidence that the water is flowing in this direction, or it's flowing out this direction, or at least it's supposed to, because that's where the pipes are headed. So you know, that, uh, this kind of information that we're collecting is going to really give us an, uh, an opportunity for the first time to really look at the drainage issues that St. Charles Parish is currently experiencing. This is just another example how your parish government is working to meet our long-term goals. For more information about our goals from St. Charles Parish, log on to the website and keep watching Channel 6 for more updates on bridging our communities together.